prayer. You can't lose your place. You can't do it. <laughs> okay. I'd like, as we start have our congregational prayer time this morning, I'd like you to join with me. And in just a moment, I'm going to tell you how. And I'd like Channel 4 to also join in with us. And just in a moment, I'm going to tell you how. You might have noticed some folks covering the campus in the last couple of weeks, in the last three weeks, in fact, and quietly doing a prayer walk around about. Well, you can become part of that. It's called intercessory prayer. That's a $40 word that has a $100 meaning. And we'd like you to join in. I got a report just the other day. Somebody was walking down their hallway in the towers. And a lady walked up to the person that was walking down the towers hallway and said, what are you doing? And she replied, well, I'm praying for the people that are on my floor here. Oh, she said, would you take time to pray for me right now? What an opportunity. Intercessory prayer, a $40 word with a $120 meaning. Outstanding. And we'd like you to participate in that. If you'd like to, you have, take it out now and take a look at this. Every one of you got one as you walked in the door this morning. Community of Faith at Glencroft is praying for our village. This is our opportunity for a $40 word with a $150 meaning. Intercessory prayer. Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning, a group will be meeting again for the fourth time in the condos lounge and we'd like you to join with us. And we're talking about prayer for our village. Intercessory prayer. A $40 word with a $200 meaning. On the back of this page, you will find an application. Well, it's not really an application because I know most of you do this anyway. But we'd like to know about and we'd like to have you inform us about your prayer desires for, the, for our campus, for our village. So if you will take this, and in the area that you'd like to pray for, put an X, and then in the red part, in the margin, put your name and other data and leave it with the people that are going to be standing at the door this afternoon, as, as we close the service at noon, or at 11 o'clock. Now here's what we do. And if we get the camera on the board over here, you'll find some stickers, some colored stickers, located in different areas of the campus. Those are the people and names and locations of folks that have already signed up for prayer time any day of the week, any time of, the 24 hour of a 24-hour period for any part of the community that they'd like to pray for. If you'd like to, after the meeting, just before you pass by the, bo uh, the, the Christmas boxes, and only 15 of them left, by the way, just before you pass by them, you might pass by here and see how many of your friends and neighbors have signed up for prayer time. Now as we go for our congregational prayer this morning, what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to blow, bow your heads, and I'd like to have you folks on channel four join us. In your mind's eye, who is it that you'd like to pray for? Keep in mind as we pray this morning. Could be a neighbor, could be a relative, it could be a member of our staff or, or administration. 
or somebody you might know from the past. Just put a name to our prayer this morning. Would you join me? Father, your blessing has rested on your people since the day you made the promise to be with us always, even into the end of the world. We honor you for your word is true and dependable. We praise you for the way that your Holy Spirit lives and functions faithfully in our lives. We thank you for the revelation of your purposes for our everyday walk and how you have shown us a new and dis disciplined way to live for you. Continue, Lord, to give us the discernment of your Holy Spirit to help us see the supremely trustworthiness of your faithful guidance. But Father, when we look around at our neighborhood, we must confess that we do not know what to do to help some of the situations that we see. There are problems much too great for us to fix. I ask, Father, that you give me, along with my brothers and sisters of faith, the ability to determine the right thing to do, the right word to share, and even the right silent prayer to offer. My neighborhood is sometimes stressed to the breaking point because of illness, family relationships, finances, or loneliness. Show us quietly the individual's spiritual need and help us in just as quietly plead for their peace of heart and soul. Lead us in such a way, Father, that there will be no question in our minds and hearts that you will provide for the needy and hurtful circumstances that sometimes seem an overwhelming situation. As we are with our neighbors, here in our very own community, show us the way to speak or act that will most effectively communicate your love and for us to be effective in hearing and supporting and, in, and being an encouragement. Together, Lord Jesus, we ask this in your name and for your honor and glory and we would mention the very name that each of us has in our heart and mind at this moment. Amen.